Well, there are signs all over this area just like this one warning people to not leave valuable belongings in your car. Hikers say the recent arrest brings some relief while Bellevue police are stepping up patrols ahead of an anticipated busy weekend. Leah Brown is excited to hit the trails this weekend, but after dozens of car break ins, she doesn't run here at Coal Creek as much as she used to. We used to come almost every other day, and I come maybe once every two weeks yeah. when the weather's good. And it's because of instances like this. Video released this week shows the alleged suspect smash the window of a car and in just a matter of seconds, make off with bags. Detectives use surveillance video like this to identify the suspects. They would hit 10, 12 or more cars at a time at these uh, trailheads. Bellevue police say Johnny Taylor and Dominic Collier use a window punch to break into cars. Investigators say they stole credit cards and immediately used them at stores. A simple act of breaking into a car can actually, you know, for somebody, for a victim, can actually wreak a lot of havoc on their on their lives, their personal lives. Police say reporting every break in is crucial because that's how they determine which areas to target with more patrols. Um, you know, we really look at data and kind of focus our efforts to be intentional and in how we, you know, we're going to go out and be proactive and, and you know, and, and work a specific area. Again, please say to not leave anything valuable in your car. And if you do have something that you don't want to take on your hike, police warn to not hide that in your car while you're parked at the trailhead because somebody could be watching and it only takes a matter of seconds to break in and steal your belongings. Reporting live in Bellevue, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.